Hello fellow freelancers. So today I want to talk about something that came up as a question, part of a question that I got on my course. In discussing other stuff, uh, this student asked something that I hadn't even thought of because it has nothing to do with freelancing, it has nothing to do with translation, it has nothing to do with any of those things, but it affects all of us as freelance translators and as freelancers. And uh, that is physical health because we, more than other people, spend all our time hunched over a computer doing this, and, uh, and this will affect all of our physical health. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a personal trainer, I'm not a coach, I'm not a whatever, whatever. I'm a freelance translator and that's it. So obviously I don't know, I'm not an expert in any of these things, but I, uh, I do have my personal experience. And, uh, and so I, I created a couple of lessons that I added to the course where I talk a bit more in detail about this because I have had issues. I've had nerve issues on my neck and all down my arm that I had to go to the doctor for. And uh, plus then later on, you know, get the usual issues, I guess, of age and stuff like that, where you start being sedentary the whole time and just gaining weight. But also the fact is many other issues start to come up. Like I feel like from being like this the whole time, I start getting hunched over a lot more and uh, I'm a lot less used to physical exercise in general and stuff like that. And uh, like I said, I'm obviously not a doctor or anything along those lines, so I'm not qualified to talk about it. All I can talk about is my personal experience. And in my personal experience, the important thing is to do something about it. Now, this means if Obviously, if you're having issues, you should do something about it. But if you're not having issues, actually, now is the time you should start looking into this and start trying to do something about it. Because uh, as any Italian knows, because they, you, they used to have all these commercials um, that uh, in Italy, they used to say, prevenire meglio che curare means like preventing is better than curing. I guess that's exactly what it means. And it must be an old saying. But anyway, uh, and it's very true because you prevent something now, like say going to the gym twice a week, uh, to maintain some physical activity, it'll be way cheaper, way easier, and way better for you than if you wait until you have to go to the doctor to look into something. And uh, so the main thing is to do something about it. I'd, I'd say next time you go for, if you have no physical problems now, but you're a freelancer or you're planning on being a freelancer and that's going to be your profession, next time you go see the doctor, bring it up and just ask, you know, say, look, I don't have any issues now. And I might not have one for the next few years or something, but eventually something will come up if I'm doing this all the time. And uh, can you give me any advice? You know, the usual advice is always don't do this, do this. And uh, again, I, I'm, I won't go into it now because I've tried a bunch of stuff. The standing desk, the desk that's ergonomic and, you know, kind of facing this way and uh, a whole bunch of other things. Um, yeah. And, you know, different things work for different people. So I think you should kind of explore and see what works best for you. There's a lot of construction going on outside. I hope it's not too loud. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I think um, it's something that is definitely worth looking into. Again, I'm not the most qualified person to be talking about it. But if you have any you know, experience in this, feel free to let me know. I'd love to hear about it. But you know, this is something that should deal with physical exercise in general and uh, being able to have some movement and figuring out what that is. Dealing with possible pains of either carpal tunnel, nerve stuff like that from being hunched over the computer all the time. And, uh, and nutrition in general also, because I, at least for me, I found myself when I'm working at the computer, I'm just, you know, I have my coffee here and then I keep wanting to munch on something. If I'm in a coffee shop, I'll end up getting pastries all the time. So I had to stop that and, uh, or, you know, get a fancy coffee. Or if I'm at home, especially, I'll be munching on whatever's there without even thinking because, you know, I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. And so I just grab whatever's handy and eat it without even noticing I'm doing it, quite frankly. So, these are all things that I think need to be addressed uh, once, you know, if you're taking this seriously as a, as, as a career, as a job. And, uh, and so, yeah, and I'm sure a lot of you have been dealing with it or will be dealing with it or, uh, you know, should be dealing with it or something along those lines. So I'd love to hear what you've come across as well. Um, but, you know, this is just a PSA, a, you know, a reminder, a public service announcement that you should be paying attention to this. So next time you talk to your physician, mention it, you know, say, this is my lifestyle. Can you give me some help? Because it, it, otherwise it will become an issue. Being sedentary the whole time and working this way, it, it has an effect. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to bring that up and I thought it was something that, uh, that doesn't get brought up very often because we are, you know, we're concentrating on freelancing, on translation, but it's something that does affect all of us. So I thought I should bring it up there. Uh, otherwise, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye. Savedum!